Welcome to the Halloween special, the Leshy channel. In today's video, the table for one gets a little Halloween twist as various rodents and backyard bullies come take a seat with the old Sparky. It's not just tree rats today. We got bullies, chipmunks, and even a possum who couldn't resist taking their chance to ride the lightning. The Leshy Channel presents Table for One, the old Sparky edition. So my youngest daughter and I are rebuilding an old Dow house. And as a result of all the stuff I was searching for online for this thing, the algorithms have just been pumping me with replica furniture and other stuff for this Dow house. So they hit it out of the park, though, with this replica. I think it's a 1 12th scale old Sparky. So I couldn't pay fast enough. And after a couple of weeks of waiting, it finally arrived. So I actually ordered two of them. Uh, and so for the first one, I was just like not messing around. It was a quick install. I built a little mini table for one around it because it was time to see some tree rats come ride the lightning. So it actually took no time at all for them to get comfortable with this thing. And as this chipper was the first one to come have a seat. So I had him in my sights there uh, and I realized I'd be testing the durability of old Sparky here with any pastures pretty much right away. So luckily, just as it bent down right there, I was pulling the trigger and a uh, 47 grain NSA slug just emptied out its vitals, but it snuck right through the opening in the back of the chair. So one down and no damage. Well, no damage to the chair at least. So I could see the flies everywhere. Uh, so I wanted to retrieve both of them, but not before dishing out some fly dirt naps with the old bug assault shredder. A few minutes later, chipper number two sat down to see what all the fuss was about. This time, the chair got its first little bit of damage, but nothing compared to what this chipmunk endured. Oof. Man, that NSA bullet hits hard. In slow motion, you can really just see how violent it was. So, as soon as this guy hit the ground, Squirrel and another chipmunk came in. Man, chipmunks are kind of bullies. But uh, look how they treat their dead mates, too. This is weird. I don't know what it's doing, to be honest. While that narcoleptic chipper was busy doing his thing, the squirrel was able to grab a few peanuts and run off before that chipmunk came back. This time, though, the chair was really going to take a beating. So along with the contents of this guy's head, you can also see the arm of old Sparky go flying. And just in case you guys missed it, here it is again in super slow motion. So I wanted to take just a quick second to thank today's video sponsor, The Ridge Wallet. Now, before you go and fast forward, if you are one of those pest control ADD folks that just clicks on this and cannot stand me doing anything but smoke critters, hold on. This is a cool enough sponsor. They allow me to do a little picture in picture to keep you entertained while I show everybody else this super cool wallet real quick. So I've been running the gold one now for a few months and I absolutely love this thing. Uh, it's a front pocket minimalist style wallet that holds up to 12 cards and it's got plenty of room for cash within the integrated money clip. There's also a strap option as well. It's actually kind of rare. I got cash in here for me with four kids who refer to my Ridge wallet as their ATM. But anyways, I digress. So there are 30 plus colors and designs available like these limited edition ones or just the traditional carbon fiber like my original one here. And these things are tough. So to show that, I actually shot one a few months ago. Uh, the RFID plates on the inside are there to prevent identity theft, but also apparently strong enough to stop a 7.62 bullet out of my Leshy tube. 
So I got another cool item from them uh, as well that's in my EDC. Uh, it's called the key case. So this holds up to seven keys and stores them in this clean little case, hence the name. It's got a pocket clip, that's your jam. But honestly, it keeps them so nice and tight. Uh, I just throw it in my pocket and it's perfect. So uh, I'll drop a link in the description and pin comment if you wanna go snag one of these. Make sure to use the promo code EDGUNLESHY, all one word, to get 10% off your order. So thanks again to the Ridge Wallet for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to some 556 five, Tracers. So that last shot was actually the Steyr Pro X and 5.56. Five, it's an incredible semi-auto air gun, and I'm actually going to be giving it away as part of my new merch launch. So, so drop a link in the description for the full details, but one of you guys is going to win this $3,000 air gun. The chair is pretty safe when a squirrel sitting there, uh, but I was still sending single shots just in case. No double taps. Uh, this one was dead nuts, and then he was off for a little dirt nap. So this guy was a little smarter, so I had to take him just above old Sparky as he was looking down, wondering what happened to his buddies. So that bullet went straight through its brain and then exited its ass, uh, hitting everything in between. So it didn't move, uh, it just absolutely anchored it. So I went down to go check it out and, uh, well, check on the chair really, and retrieve the squirrel. All right, so back to the chippers. And after this shot, the chair is clearly just hanging on by a thread. I didn't think much of it until I saw this possum come down. One little step is all it took. You can see old Sparky just hanging there while the possum's finished. What was left in that peanut tin. Eight hours later. The next morning, I took the hot glue gun out uh, and had to get to work. Time to see how the old Gorilla Glue holds up. All right, before some of you freak out in the comments about the possums, I don't take them too often, as they're kind of like the backyard janitor. But I started to notice quite a few showing up, and uh, this guy kept breaking old Sparky. So the floodgates opened with a skunk and then a backyard bully checking things out too. So uh, the skunk took off pretty quick, uh, but the big old coon just couldn't resist. <laughs> Uh, I was pretty surprised how well the chair held up. This fatty didn't skip a lot of meals, if you know what I mean. But old Sparky held up under the weight. He was eating there for quite a while. Uh, I don't really like this angle sometimes as the top of their skulls are super thick. So if possible, I'll let them come down before I send it. Uh, and that's exactly what happened. So I let him kind of come down here. He's going slow because he's a fat bastard. <laughs> Anyways, I let him kind of smell around for a minute uh, before I stopped him with the old leshy kiss as it started to walk towards me. It paused just long enough for me to send one right between the eyes. So I grabbed the 25 cal Leshy 2 setup with the ATM thermal on top and headed out ready just in case. So 
it rolled out of sight uh, of my shooting position just to the left. Uh, so this is where the thermal and the light on the gun are key for me. Uh, between the two of them, nothing is going to hide. And sure enough, there it was, dead, right next to the couch, about five feet from where I shot it. Three hours later. So after I went to bed, this was what was caught on the security camera. A couple of new set of bullies. I've never seen these guys before. We're already coming in hot. So we're going to end it here for today, but I'll be back with a part two to show what happened next. Thanks for watching the Ed Gun Leshy channel. Want more backyard hunting videos? Grab your favorite beverage and get yourself caught up. There's hundreds just like the one you just watched. Here's a couple favorites to get you started.